Here in this workbook, we have four different data sets. These data sets are very famous. They're known as ANSCOM's Quartet, and I have no idea if I pronounced that name correctly. It's just a bunch of sets of coordinates, X and Y. So these variables don't represent anything. They're just numbers, but let's take a look at them. Let's just glance. So it's hard to make sense of the relationship of these values. Sometimes the X is less than the Y. Sometimes the X is greater than the Y. Hard to really make anything out of that. If we scroll down to data set four, we can see there's a whole bunch of eights for the X and 119, but the Ys are kind of all over the place. As human beings, it's hard for us to make sense of this data. So that's one reason why we graph things. So let's create some scatter plots. So I'm going to highlight this X and Y, and I'm going to insert. Let's choose a scatter plot. I've got my X and Ys there. And I'm going to line this up. I'm trying to I'm going to try to size these all the same so we can compare them easily. So I've got, of course, my, my X's and Y's. They're going to do the same thing. Again, follow that same process. Same chart. Okay, visually I can see, yes, there's some difference in this data. I'm going to try to line, make everything exactly the same size. Now clearly I can see there's, I can see differences in the patterns of the data. We are visual creatures, so graphing things can be tremendously helpful anytime we're doing data analysis. So I'm going to choose another scatter plot here. Drop this down and resize it just a bit. I need to bring it up just a tad. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I do want it to look the same. Add another scatter plot. Okay, this one looks way different, right? You should, that should jump out. <laughs> this is very, looks very much different than the other. Um, so we look at data set four, we've got a bunch of stacked values with one outlier. Data set three, it looks like we have a pretty straight line with one outlier. Data set two, we seem to have a curve. And data set one, we kind of have a trend going in one direction. But the data is a little bit spread out. So I'm going to go to each of these and I'm going to add a trend line. Now tell me what you notice about this trend line. You can say it out loud. <laughs> what is interesting here is that the trend lines appear to have the same slope. Now our axes are not all equivalent, so I could change this, I could format this axis uh, to make sure it's the same across all of these so that when I represent them, I'm using comparing apples to apples. So I want my x axes and y axes to be the same. So everything's going from 0 to 20 on the x axis. Everything's going 0 to 14 on the y axis. And if I just glance like this, there's a trend line, a positive trend line, seems to have about the same slope. If I say equals corel here, array one will be my x values, not the header, and array two will be the y values. The correlation is 0.816. It's a very good correlation. If I look at data set two, let's run this correlation. Huh, and let's see, x and y. 0.816, interesting. Looks like we have a different relationship in the data, but my correlation is exactly the same. All right, let's look at this one. Correlation, hmm. my x's and my y's here, 0.816, interesting. This is, the relationships look different, but the statistics are telling me that these are the same. Clearly this one will be different, right? There's no way 
that the correlation is basically the same, 0.817. Uh, so this is fascinating. We have different relationship between these variables, but the correlation is being output the same. Uh, let's see. Let's we can look at this. Let's look at our trend line. Options. I'm going to display the equation on the chart. Doing the same thing, display equation on the chart. Okay, so if you remember your formula y equals mx plus b, if we look at these, if we round this, you know, to one decimal place, our formulas are basically the same. y equals 0.5x plus 3. Each one of these, form these lines has the same formula, which is kind of crazy. Same intercept, same slope. At least very, very close. <laughs> if you round it to one decimal place, it's exactly the same. So kind of crazy. That is one reason why it's important to visually represent your data so that we can look for these types of relationships that might not be obvious. If I was trying to make the case, like in data set 4, that x can predict y, well, it, it's maybe not such a great predictor because really I just have one outlier that's highly influencing my results. Anyway, this is Anscom's quartet. Uh, highlighting the need for creating scatter plots and visually representing your data so that we can analyze not just the, the numbers, the statistics, but visually inspect our data to look for relationships.